you said that he is different and, and imagining people supporting him. I mean, he is neck and neck with Harris and he has actually gained support when you look at the numbers, especially with, with key groups like black men. That is something that the Harris campaign has been working on. Why, why do you think he's gaining support then? Well, I think it's one of the real questions um, of uh, not just the campaign, but of our country right now, uh, that uh, really any uh, person um, that is thinking hard about their own uh, position uh, in the economy, their own future, uh, would think that he offers a better deal. Uh, you know, some people support him because they like what he says. They like his... Uh, uh, belligerent attitude, they like his insulting, they may even occasionally believe some of his uh, versions of alternative reality. Other people, uh, I think, find him uh, to be a strong uh, man, and that's very attractive to certain voters. Uh, they may not even agree with what he's saying, but they think that he's strong, and they find that appealing. I can't psychoanalyze the electorate for sure, um, but there are a lot of reasons why people would be for him uh, that to, to me uh, really don't add up because for anybody who thinks that he would only go after somebody unlike them, that he would only support laws and uh, you know changes that would hurt somebody else, I don't think they understand uh, that with an authoritarian personality in power, there is no safe haven. Uh, there's always a chance he's impulsive, he's emotional. Uh, I think he is unstable, that he uh, will turn on anyone, any individual, any group, uh, for any perceived uh, disloyalty um, or you know, comment that uh, he thinks uh, is uh, contrary to you know, himself or what he is pushing. So I, I think people need to really think hard because this is, you know, one thing I know for 